Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Andrew G, and thank you so much for tuning into this episode of The Public Affair with Mr. Will London the Third. Um, I just want to go ahead and address real quick before the episode starts that similar to a previous episode that I had on The Public Affair with Miss Abby Zuniga, we did run into some audio issues with this episode. Uh, my producer Mike Hamilton has been working very tirelessly to get these issues fixed. These things happen in podcasting and and audio recording all the time. Um, unfortunately, this was one of those situations as well. Uh, now, Will London is currently in Tokyo so we couldn't exactly re-record either. Um, but nonetheless, the episode came out really great. Um, I think you guys might not notice it too much, but I just, again, wanted to put it out there so that way you don't think it's your car, it's not your computer, it's not your TV, it's the audio. And so, uh, Mike, thank you so much for working tirelessly to um, fix those issues as best as you can. And I hope that you guys enjoy this episode nonetheless. Uh, Will London, thank you so much for coming on to this episode of The Public Affair. Best of luck to you at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. To everybody tuning in to see Mr. Will London on The Public Affair, thank you. And um, as I said before, I just wanted to go ahead and adjust that with you guys. Nonetheless, it's a great episode. You guys are going to love it. And thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all so much. Hey, everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Andrew G, and welcome to episode 56 of my podcast, The Public Affair. I'm really happy that we're on 56 episodes of the show, so thank you guys all so much for your love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this episode, and of course, thank you to Mike Hamilton at Rogue Media Network for everything that you do for The Public Affair. Um, we're almost at 60 episodes, Mike. That's working. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, before we get started with my really special guest, I'm a little bit different here. Um, I definitely want to give a shout out to some of our sponsors of The Public Affair. Of course, to Arjon Painting with my boy Juan Arjon. He's a family-owned local paint company of over 30 years that specializes in residential homes, both interior and exterior. Offers the best quality guaranteed, so if you need your home painted, you're definitely going to call out my boy Juan Arjon. He does so much more as well. Juan, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. Of course, to Frank Pizer with B&J Refinishing. He focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality. Has five-year warranty on most work and offers the best price is in town and we all know that Frank does not stop there because he also has Co-Town Tint which is a mobile tint and detailing business that offers the best high quality film and products and will be all competitive prices. Actually Frank just helped me with um, giving me a water slide for my nephew's birthday. Big shout out to Max. It was his birthday over the weekend. He had so much fun and his sister Maya on that water slide. It was gargantuan and it was tons and tons of fun. Frank, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. Of course to Jeffrey Monreal with Foil Box and Audio. He focuses on installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom stuff for enclosures and much more. Boyo Box and Audio is full time now, and he's definitely built me a new car from the ground up. So if you need any of that work done, of course, you can hit up my boy Jeffrey Monreal with Boyo Box and Audio. Of course, to David Santa Bañez, the number one sales agent at Alinea Real Estate. To help you buy a home or sell your home, make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea. Or call the number on the screen dialing for all your real estate needs. David is definitely, there's a reason why he's number one, all right, because he's the best. So thank you so much. Of course, to Elite Barbershop with my boy Sid Rodriguez. He's located on Hewitt Drive, you can download the Cut app or call the number on the screen to book your next haircut. He's made sure for 56 episodes. Did you hear that? 56? 56 episodes of The Public Affair that I've looked like a whole entire snack, uh, but nobody's, um, none of my guests have slept with me. So that, come on, Sid. <laughs> uh, make sure you also hit up Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, and Santos Cordova, and D-Rod, David Rodriguez, to get your next haircut. Of course, the Four Brothers Construction with Joe Olvera, who's a huge supporter of The Public Affair. Joe, thank you so much for all your sponsorship with Four Brothers Constructions. He provides custom home designs and renovations. He also focuses on roofing remodeling renovations, plumbing, tree removal, electrical work, and so much more. So if you need that, any of that work, then of course you can hit my boy, Joel Olvera, who just built the dream team of all these hot scrumptious men. Joe, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. And of course, to one of my new sponsors, Mr. Trevor Owen with Free Fit Athletics. Uh, Free Fit Athletics is an apparel business with the best workout, exercise, and athletic clothing with gear with the best quality and comfort guaranteed. Make sure you guys check out FreeFitAthletics.com or call the number on the screen for more information. Trevor, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. More to come later. All right, guys. So like I said, I have a really, really exciting guest. I had a lot of people reach out to me and say, hey, you've got to get this guy on the show. Um, I've never, ever met him up until just like five minutes ago when he walked into the studio. And so far, he's been very kind. I'm very, very happy to have local Olympian Mr. Will London III on 56 of The Public Affair. How are you? Appreciate you. Yeah, remember now. Remember, yes, I'm very grateful that you came on the show. But remember, I said you have to use your outside uh, of the park. Boy. <laughs> okay, he's being humble, darling. All right? No, I'm, I'm really happy that you came. Okay. Thank you so much. I know we. I slid in his DMs. He's probably like, "Who the fuck is this?" Okay, so I haven't accepted my Facebook friend request, but I can message him. So that, I can't that's get, it. I can't get no more friends. Oh, it's like that. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna have to delete somebody. All right, <laughs> it's me. All right. Well, they didn't invite you on their public affair. I did. Okay, so whoever doesn't react or anything, you need to go your little friends list. All right. 
you're done. Sorry, okay? Because maybe one is a bot, all right? <laughs> no, thank you for coming again. We don't, we've never met each other prior to this, but I've really had a lot of people in my messages say, hey, have you heard of this guy, Will London? He's in the Olympics. And I was like, no, because, you know, I've don't watch sports, right? Like, yeah. it's just, that's just me. <laughs> but, but, you know, I've, I've had some, like, boxers. I've had football players, all this. And I'm like, you know what? This would be really interesting. You know, like, let's do it. Fuck it. And then it sounded like you were excited to come on, so I'm really happy. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm always willing to do something, man. Okay. And I've never did one in person before, so I thought it was Oh, okay. Yeah. As opposed to what? Just, like, not in person? Yeah, I've always done it. Like, mm -hmm. I pretty much do interviews, like, over the phone. Oh. Especially with COVID, it's always been on Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, uh, this would be cool. Oh, okay, yeah, no, we definitely, we practiced our fair share of social distancing, haven't we? <laughs> you know, when COVID was a thing. But no, yeah, I, I'm really excited that you came on. So, um, so you know, especially for me, I've never, you know, I always get to know my guests prior, but you're so busy, we haven't had a chance to yeah. really talk on the phone or anything. So uh, why don't you introduce yourself to us? Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and life growing up and stuff. Uh, Will Lundy, I'm from Waco. Hey. You know, I was born and raised, uh, went to uh, Waco High. Okay. And graduated from Waco High, went to Baylor. Yeah, what year in Waco High? Uh, uh, I graduated in 2015. Oh, okay. Oh, so, he's young. <laughs> yeah, 23. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, yeah, I feel so sure. old now. I just turned 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I went to Waco High, uh -huh. Baylor, graduated there, and then started my professional career for Nike. Oh, wow. So it's been booming ever since. Oh, really? For Nike? Okay, yeah. I did see that. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. How did you, how did that end up happening? So you went to Baylor. Did you finish? Yeah, yeah. I okay, got you. Yeah. yeah, and so um, as far as working for Nike, how did that come about? Uh, you know, hire an agent. You yeah. Know, they talk to the people. You don't really say nothing to the, uh -huh. to the stuff. And then, um, you know, it just went like that. It yeah. Took, it took a while, but hey, it worked out. Right. Like, so that point. that's what I'm missing here. I'm missing an agent. I need to hire yeah, an agent. Yeah, hire an agent. Yes. But how, so how do you find an agent that has your best interest at heart? I mean, did you interview a bunch of people? Yeah, or? I mean, I talked to probably like five or six. Uh -huh. And then one thing about agents, they kind of all say the same sense. Right. Like, words but it's all about like, like what tell us i need to know you need to you need to teach yeah, me yeah okay. i mean they always <laughs> say how much money they can make you mm -hmm. uh what they can get you right all this stuff what's best for what they can do for you but yeah i feel like you just gotta fill them out on a personal level okay you know what I'm saying? so how did you feel your agent out on a personal level and is he hot uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, knew him, I knew him for a long time, yeah. so it was like we already had that connection, like, uh -huh. you know, it was always, and then he ran track as well. Oh, okay. So I feel like for somebody who, was in, who would be in my shoes, they would yeah. always have the best interest for me, because they right. once was in my position. Okay. And it's like we came up in the, in the same type of situation. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, yeah, you know, it kind of, it just kind of clicked. And okay. Since then, we've been locked in. Oh, okay. That, is that your hashtag locked in? Is that yeah, what you say? I just okay. always say that. So. <laughs> yeah, because when I, when I confirmed our, our um, time today, last yeah. night, you said locked in. Okay. Yeah, oh, sure. I, I thought that was like clever. And then I saw on your Facebook, because I was talking on Facebook last night, that um, that you were saying lock, like hashtag locked in. And I was yeah, like, oh, that must be his tagline. Can I, can I borrow that for a minute? Like, I don't got it. You take it for once. No, I don't want to take it. I just want to borrow Like, you can't take keep it between us. That's that's between <laughs> you and I. So I'll definitely borrow hashtag locked in when we promote the episode. That'd be good idea oh, sure, yeah sure. so your agent was i guess was he trying to be in the same position as you and then said no you know what i'm gonna take the, the back ranks and help no nah, he was grow. actually good like he okay was, he's a living in himself like, oh okay cool cold. give him a shout out who is yeah, it shout out to uh Bashan, batman hey Jason. batman what's up yeah. batman i'm robin what's up yeah, so <laughs> yeah. He, he was cold so yeah yeah as far as him it was just like as soon as he was done like, mm -hmm. you know he just took that route. Oh, an agent, so. hey, lucky. That's good. Um, Not lucky, but blessed. That's really awesome. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. yeah. You know what? Talk to me a little bit about your life growing up. So you're from North Waco, right? Because yeah. you went to Waco High. That's yeah. where they go, right? And so I'm from New York, so I don't, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and so, uh, so I mean, did you did you have to face any hardships growing up in this town? I mean, I mean, you are a little oh, bit younger yeah, than I am, you know, so. so. It was just like you know, I, I got a two parent household, but it wasn't always uh, the easiest. You right. Know what I'm saying? So. It was always troubles and stuff as mm -hmm. far as uh, monetary values, having yeah. to live with my grandma at times okay. and stuff like that. But right. I don't really like trying to use that against nobody. Right. Stuff. Like, I ain't never been the type that would be like, oh, you know, I struggle through this. Yeah. Like, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, the people who know my story know mm -hmm. like, I never try to reach out for a story just to, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, and plus, I feel like if I tell people my story, mm -hmm. they, you know what I'm saying, they, they feel like they know me. Right. And I don't think a lot of people know me on a personal level, just on the track level. Okay. But as far as that go, you know, like I originally grew, I'm from Waco, but mm -hmm. I kind of grew up in uh, Chilton, Sadie, Sadie, oh, Texas. Oh, okay. Where yeah. That's my dad's side of the family. Yeah. But we would be back and forth between my dad's side of the family, living with my grandma, uh -huh. and then living with some of my family members on my mom's side. Right. And like Stella Maxi, places like that. Uh -huh. You know, so 
I don't ever, you know what I'm saying, like be on it. Oh, I'm from this part. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm, yeah. I'm just a Waco. You're just from Waco, yeah. yeah I'm just okay. a Waco great individual. Yeah. Like, everybody, you know, <laughs> I got love in all places. Right, for sure. No, a lot of people like to um, shout out their side of the compass over here. Yeah, like, oh, that, a, lot of, a lot of them are some style than the one. Yeah, I don't got yeah. time for all that. You're just doing you. I pretty yeah. much live in all the places. So okay. it's like, I'll never be on, no, oh, I'm from this part. Right, like, right. If anything, if I'm going to claim anything, I'm going to claim my grandma's house on stage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, for sure. That's where I really started at. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm a country boy, so it's yeah. Like, but it's like, yeah, I, I ain't, boys. but I ain't no pushover either. You know okay. I just, I just yeah. show love to everybody, but everybody respect me. So I got you. Like, okay. Yeah. You know, you mentioned that there was, you did face a little bit of hardships growing yeah. up, and it's not anything that you necessarily talk about. But what did you do different from the person from the same side of town that you're from that that helped you excel and like kind of just stay above the fray or push through the, the yeah. bullshit, so to speak? Yeah. And then that person that kind of plays victim and says, I, I can't do anything in my life because this happened growing up. You I know? mean, my my mom and my pops, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. especially my dad, he wasn't for all that feel sorry for. Oh, uh, okay. Like, he, was, he was like, "Hey, you got to get it together." Right, like, right. Always stay focused. That, his main word, like every day he took when I would go to school, like mm -hmm. stay focused, like stay focused. Right. And like you know, growing up, I didn't know what the hell that meant. <laughs> like, you know, like, I just thought it meant like pay attention in class. Yeah, like, for sure. So, so as I got older, I realized and stay focused mm -hmm. on the on the task at hand. Oh, so okay. it's like I don't really get into it. Just right. the simple fact of like it's always my. I always look at it as someone that's going way worse. Mm. You know what I'm going through way oh, worse. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's just like, I don't feel like just because, you know what I'm saying, I didn't get the new kicks and somebody don't got shoes at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I feel you. I don't, I don't do all that. It's a shame that a lot of people really, I have the same mindset too, because yeah. if I would have used my past like to define who I am today, I wouldn't have the public affair yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. You know, and, and it's just like, what, like you, you, I always say life is what you make it. I got it from a movie. Fact. But, yeah, but it really is. Like it's like one of the most no, true things. Right. Yeah, and so like I get it together. You, mm -hmm. know what I'm you can just I, I just look at it like I can sit back and, and cry about it. Right, so but then you wouldn't be on the Olympics, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. right. And then, and then you'd be watching yeah. the Olympics, like you know, yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? Um, yeah, I also had uh, George Delion. Uh, he I went to Waco High as well. I believe you guys are around the same age. And he was a, he's a soccer player now in yeah. California. And he mentioned that like something similar what you were mentioned that you know of course growing up maybe not specifically on that side of town yeah. but they also dealt with like he grew up in a single mother household and stuff right. like that. But you know now he's like this really big indoor soccer player in California and he's like you know I just. I just stayed focused, you know what I mean, and did what yeah, I had right. to do. So I, I feel like definitely that makes a lot of sense. And I oh, totally agree sure. with you. Yeah. You know what? So I definitely want to talk about your athletic background. Um, you, you run track and field for the Olympics. Is that correct? Yeah. How, how do you run so fast? Because I just started working out. First of all, shout out my friend Le uh, Lexi, who we both know. Yeah. And uh, we work out together at Soka Soccer Academy. And um, you know what? We, we run a lot. And I just yeah. started working out in, um, oh my God, what, October of last year? So I know. I can't, yeah, I can't <laughs> run fast. I can run now. Like before, bro. Like I was like having I was on the struggle bus, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now like like how do you what what's going on there? First of all, before we talk about running fast, tell me a little bit about your athletic background. Was something you did in school and stuff? Or? Yeah, I mean growing up, uh -huh. I played. Uh, I think I, I tried t ball. It yeah. For me, <laughs> it was, it was, uh, baseball is just too slow in general. For me. Right. It ain't, it ain't it don't it don't click fast enough. Okay. But I played uh, football, basketball, and ran track. Right. I think I started. All those sports, like around four or five years old. Yeah. Like my dad threw me in there early. Oh, like really? Was, oh, he wasn't playing games. I was four or five, <laughs> I was four or five playing uh -huh. against like the eight and nine year olds. Yeah. You know so it was just like, uh, I, I love playing sports. So uh -huh. I think I stopped. Um, the other sports, I think in my sophomore uh -huh. and junior year, that's, yeah. when I, that's when I went straight track. Oh, okay. So I played all of those sports all the way up to, right. to that age. You know what I'm saying? So it was like during the summers, mm -hmm. I'm going from a basketball tournament in like San Antonio yeah. and then driving to Dallas for a track meet. Like we, my parents, we doing that like every Saturday. Oh, wow. Like really? Back and forth. So That's a far tough. drive too, yeah, isn't it? Sure. Yeah, like, damn. You know, and I'm changing uniforms <laughs> in the car. To oh my. <laughs> it's like, like now, you know, what I'm saying doing the traveling and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I'm used to it. Like yeah. I just came back from Stockholm. Uh -huh. I had to meet, and then I uh, came back from there. And then one of my flights got canceled, so oh. I had to stay in New York. Oh. And I had practice the next day. Yeah. And then I got on another flight 
uh, after that, went straight to Atlanta. Right, really? Yeah. So, so you were kind of built for this, like, yeah, yeah, little lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and I, and yeah. I always say that, too. I'm built for it. Cause, right. Like, I've been doing it for so long. Well, you worked hard at it, too. Yeah, yeah, Let's man. not get it twisted. Exactly. Let's, nothing was handed exactly. to you, right? right? Sure. Can, can you talk a little bit about that? Because a lot of people might say, oh, you know, this was maybe all handed to him and such uh, like that. But you really worked for it, right? right? Like, sure, that's right. what people, people see, you know what, just to kind of touch on that. People see the glitz and the glamour and, oh, my God, he's at the Olympics. Or, you know, even with the show, oh, my God, he's got this really popping show. But nobody sees the hard work. Behind uh, it, this, and this so shit people, was hard. Yeah, like, it was hard <laughs> to get here. Like, right, I've been doing this since before, since four years old. Okay, and I'm 23, and I just now accomplished like the main goal I set out. So yeah, it's like when you think of it, that's a long time. No, that's it really is. Time, so. Was your goal to be in the Olympics? Like, is that I always think what I you wanted to that do? Goal in like the fifth grade. Okay, like I have a. Oh I have, wow! I think in my my fifth grade teacher, we had to like write a. Uh, like an essay. Yeah. And what we wanted to do. And my dad still got it. And it was like, really? we wanted to go to the Olympics. Oh, like the and then you did it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, you know, now this isn't gonna, easy. Either. No, for sure not. This isn't going to be your first year at the Olympics, right? Is that no, what? No, this is. This, this is, is, is your first year at the Olympics. Yeah. Why are you like me? Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> no, so, yeah. we, got, we got world championships. So oh. Tracks, so you got okay. worlds and then you got Olympics. So oh, okay. So I it's made, different. I made two world teams. And mm-hmm. I made a junior world team. So yeah. this is my first Olympic team. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. cool. So, so this is your first. You you went to the Tokyo Olympics, correct? Yeah, this is going to Tokyo. Yeah. Okay, yeah. got you. So I bet that's really exciting. So I mean, you're working really, really hard to get to the Tokyo Olympics, yeah, yeah. and you know, um, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the hard? Like, did you ever face rejection as far as getting like accepted into teams and stuff like that? Or? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we go all day on that one. Oh yeah. Well, like, we got all like, day. What's bro, up? Like, bro, like, growing up, like I was always the shortest kid. Like, really? Yeah, uh, I was always the shortest kid. So it was like, I, I knew I wasn't the strongest, but mm-hmm. I was always the fastest. Right. But even when you fast, like, it's still, like, it's, <laughs> it, it, it don't amount to, like, in track and football. Uh-huh. I mean, in football and basketball. Right. Like, in track, you can be short but still be fast. Okay. But like, I, before I wanted, before track, I wanted to be, like, a basketball player. Right, right. Like, that okay. was me, so, but I was short. So, <laughs> and at that time, and you know, at that time, like, it was all about height. Like, right. Like, then. like now you could be short, be cold, and still get recruited. Because it's like social media. So, if a video go trending, you know, yeah. the coach is going to call. Oh, yeah, for but sure. You know, right. back yeah. then, you had to send videos in and stuff. And, it, and once they seen that you, like, five, three, they was like, ah. They, we, oh, really? Like, yeah. Oh, my God. But, like, what if you really yeah. good at this? They really like, you could be, like, back then, you'd be, like, six, seven. Whatever. You know, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to be in 2K23, bitch. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm trying to have the soundtrack. Like, you know, so, that was yeah. my thing. It was, like, I was always the shortest. So, uh-huh. like, one thing I had to do was, like, I worked ten times harder than everybody. Like, okay. I, try, I always tried to work harder and then have way more trash talking than everybody. Really? Yeah. <laughs> everybody that know me know I talk all the trash. I talk, talk okay. all the trash. You got that mouth? Does he have that mouth game? Or was yeah. that... <laughs> Because I know the parents are going to watch it. I hope they don't judge wow, me. If I know for dinner, I love some soul food. I'm not so, like. <laughs> I talk trash a lot. And yeah. I always worked hard. So yeah. it's just like, but as I got older, I had to make sure I backed up my trash. Mm. So it was like. Oh, yeah, you, know, you just can't be talking that shit. Nah, That's nah, what people do, yeah, Will. Yeah. Okay, they talk shit and they don't got shit going on. All right. Yeah. So it was just like, that was always <laughs> what it was. So yeah. Then it was like, once I got to high school mm-hmm. and uh, I was still playing all sports. And yeah. I think after my freshman year, I stopped football. It was just basketball and track. Right. And then I was still playing basketball. Then I stopped because it was like, I just wasn't feeling it no more. Okay. And then I think I had one great, like one great year in track and I started yeah. getting letters. Oh, really? But I still wasn't getting offers, though. That was the thing. Okay. You know? So, so was, letters, but not offers. Yeah, yeah. They would just send, like, like Hey, we see you. Interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> That's cute. Like, where's my money? We ain't giving you no money. We just know we watch it. I mean... <laughs> It's love, but it's not. It's not what I want. But so, how many letters did you receive before you got an offer? I mean, I'm sure that's annoying. I would say like I probably got like thirty or forty. Really? Before yeah. you got one offer? Yeah. Before I got oh one wow. Offer. Okay. And then, like the first offer I got, I think it was like um, JUCO from South Plain. Yeah. And I was cool with that, you know, because it was my first one, so I was excited. Yeah. I still wasn't like I, I felt like dang, I'm running. You know what I'm saying? I still wasn't running like the times that I should like a D one. Mm-hmm. So it was like. I had to, you know, settle for that one. Yeah, yeah. So um, then after that, I think I had, uh, I started running like way faster. Right. And I still wasn't getting any, I still wasn't getting any offers. Wow. Like, Damn, like, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. But I started, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cry about it. Yeah, you know for sure. Yeah. That's it. Cry about and it And then I went, uh, then I finally got some calls from some coaches. It was uh, mm-hmm. uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, and here in Baylor. And then, uh. Louisiana Monroe. Okay, got you. But the school I really wanted to go to was TCU. Right, okay. Really to to oh, TCU. did you? Okay. Did yeah. they not? Did they not send you a letter? 
<laughs> yeah, but they didn't send no offers. Uh, but I to go to TCU. What's up, TCU? Cause, yeah. uh, my dog Charles, my big bro Charles. Okay. Had, uh, shout out Charles. He, shout out Charles. Uh, he was he was from Waco High. And I okay. Grew up, I grew up watching Charles through the same team Waco and everything. Yeah. So he ended up running for uh, TCU and he won nationals. Uh huh. So I was like, I want to go to TCU just like Charles. Right. Know? Right. <laughs> and I was like, man, they ain't trying to offer me. Really? They weren't trying to give me no money. Well, yeah, fuck them then, all right? Because yeah. they're, they're where you at now. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so I was just like, uh, mm -hmm. I went on my visit to Tennessee. Right. Went on my visit to Baylor. And I went on my visit to uh, Louisiana Monroe. Okay. And uh, but first, Coach Hart uh, from Baylor, he had came to the crib mm -hmm. for a uh, house visit. Your house, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I came to the crib. Yeah. And uh, I remember we, my mom, me and my mom, my dad, we spent like all day cleaning the house. Really? My mom wasn't playing. Did she, she cook dinner? Did she cook? No. no Does no, she cook? Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Can yeah, she invite no. me over, please? Huh? Can she invite me for dinner? I asked. We'll her. have a watch party. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I don't even think they're gonna be in Texas for a living. About? Oh, really? Well, yeah. they're gonna take them with you. No, Which they can't take? go. Oh, they can't go. Yeah, we were, I was going to ask you about that later because no, I had to thank your invitation. They got it's, they got a thing for the parents. They can go like Universal Studios. Okay. Right? So they might go. Oh, like, really? Go oh, shit. Okay. So, uh, I'm his daddy too. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so he came to the group yeah. and uh, he was just like. And it was spick and spam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, okay. so was like, yeah everything set up. And yeah. He, he came in real smooth. Really? He came in smooth uh -huh. and he was just like, yeah, so we. On will okay, but at that moment, I had actually had a uh meeting with Coach uh Harvard, like I mm -hmm. had head coach of Baylor, right? Because Coach Harvard had, re had uh, retired already, mm -hmm. and I had went to his office with my uh with my high school coach, yeah, coach, uh, Woodrow. And Coach Harvard, he was like, he they wanted to recruit me, but they didn't have any money for scholarships because okay. Baylor is a private school, so they don't really oh. get that much money, okay. And uh, he was just like, they don't get that much money, isn't tuition like an arm and a leg? Yeah, but when it comes to scholarships, like because oh. like, the, the title nine thing of the amount of scholarships the, the men's sports and mm. women's sports can get, and track is a men and women's uh, uh, sport, so oh, they okay. have to equally uh, distribute the scholarships, right. and they didn't have any more right. for the men's side. Okay, so he was just like, Man, we want them, but we don't got no money, yeah. And I was like, Dang, like you know, I, I, I still didn't want to go there, but it was still being cool to get an offer from right, Baylor, you know, yeah, from Waco, yeah. So, uh he was just like the only way we can get him uh, to Baylor is he's he's a gray shirt. Okay. And you know there's a red shirt and gray shirt. You know? I didn't know that. Yeah. Like a red shirt is basically uh, you uh, you go come into Baylor and in your freshman year mm -hmm. you just sit out and then you but you still got eligibility. Oh okay. So like as an alternate or something like yeah, yeah. somebody it's breaks like, their leg. Like you really don't see it in track but you see it mm -hmm. mostly in uh, like football basketball. Okay. But like and then when a gray shirt is i'm at the school i pay for my first year yeah. my, out of my own pocket uh -huh. i can't train with the, with the team now, it's basically you know I, I can't even take classes on campus oh wow so but when a scholarship opens up the next year uh they give it to me okay and you know i was like nah that it sounds like it. really just playing yeah, around yeah, right? yeah, yeah, not playing like, nah, so, I can't, so you don't even get to play either way like, i'm it's, not even on the team I'm no like, yeah, so, I was so like, i don't mean nah. shit. keep it running it wasn't no yeah. disrespect to me, it was just like that was the best we could do yeah. for that moment. And it was just like, you know, like you know, we don't got that type of money to pay for Baylor. Right. So I was like, nah, we can't do it. Okay. And then like I think a week later, Coach Hart ended up coming to the crib. He was like, nah, I want him. Like, yeah, yeah. I want you. He was just like, you know, uh, I'm going to try to find a way to get the money. Okay. And we're going to make some work. We're going to make some bake sales and work the corner. What's yeah, up? <laughs> I, was, I was still like, you know, until I see it in writing. Yeah, you know then it's but, nothing. Okay. But I, for some reason, like, I respected him for coming to the house yeah. and telling me that. So it was okay. just like, like, at that point, TCU, I was like, yeah, like, the fact that he came right. here. But TCU also said they didn't have no money either. Right. It was just like, eh, I'm, I'm over it. Yeah, we good. So, yeah. It's too late now. Uh, when, Coach, when Coach Hart said I was like, yeah, I like that. But I when he comes that. back to the house the second time and he just pops up, I mean, did you guys even know to make the house big and span like you did the first uh, time? He didn't, even come to, he didn't even come to, it wasn't the second time. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So okay. I'm interrupting. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. So he was just like, yeah, we're going to find a way. Yeah. And um, it was one guy that ended up leaving Baylor. Uh huh. And I ended up running like a fast time. I ended up running like the number three time. Uh, and uh, not in, in, in the nation for high school, right? And it was so far like the fastest time that they had on the mm -hmm. team at Baylor. Yeah. So it was like, oh yeah. So you know, they ended up finding. But I ran that after I signed. Right. I ended up signing to Baylor. 
they found a way and they gave me the scholarship, but it was like 95%. Okay. And, you know, 95, that's basically covers everything. Yeah. But when you think of 5% at Baylor, that's still a lot that's of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's still a lot of so my mom was like, you need to fill out these scholars. You need to fill out these scholarships yeah. to do this. And I was just like, I'm not trying to write no essays. I'm okay. None of that. Yeah. I was like, I'm already going to Baylor. Like I was good. Yeah. And then once I dropped that Tom, I think like two weeks later, I was at a basketball game with my pops. Mm-hmm. And Coach Hart called me. He was like, look, you know, uh, has some good news for you. Oh. I'm like, what's up, coach? He was just like, uh, we found the five percent. Oh wow. We found we found the five percent. Yeah. So we're gonna uh we're gonna resend your uh, letter of intent. Okay. And then you're gonna resign it. And so you got the the full hundred percent. Right. I told my dad at the basketball game, he was happy. He was so happy. Yeah, yeah. we didn't even stay for the game, we went back home. Oh really? Fuck oh, <laughs> like this game. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the yeah. papers you wanna be fucked over in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, so awesome. Yeah, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Like that I I never complained. You right. Know what I'm like, I never said like why are they getting it and I'm not? Like, yeah. I just like, you know, I'm, I'm still, I was happy for everybody that was getting signed. You know? For sure. And you know what? And even amongst like everything that you might've been through as a child, like it, it sounds really awesome to know that you might've had a really good support system behind yeah, you. Sure. Everybody sounds like they really wanted your best interest and to push yeah, you. you know, yeah. I, I grew up, like I'm not only a child, I got three older sisters. Oh, okay. So it was always like them. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying? With them, I've always watched them grow, grow up as yeah. well. And then, uh, they got, I got nieces and nephews, right. you know, so they haven't always been in the, in the perfect situation as right. far as having a father figure in mm-hmm. their uh, they eyes, so I want to make sure, <laughs> I want to make sure I can put them in the best position. Okay, awesome. good. And so, especially, like, to be, like, a role model for yeah, them, I'm yeah, sure, right? Yeah, yeah, It's just, like, I know what my sister's been through, yeah. too, so it's, like, I got it good right now. Why mm. am I complaining when, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, I feel you. And, you know, and I just want to be, like, I, even though I'm the, the youngest, mm-hmm. like, now that I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, like, I got more money. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Like I want to be able to be like, nah, y'all. You know, I can be like the big little brother. Okay, know? I got you. So, so, I, like, so do you do you feel inclined at that point to take care of everybody? Or is your money for you? Because I always say that nah, I'm just taking care of myself. Nah, right? I, yeah. you know, like it's like a point where it's just like I want everybody. You know, what I'm saying in right. my inner circle to mm. be comfortable. Oh, you know, okay. So not not in the sense where like you got to You know, what I'm saying like you you need a thousand dollars because right. you want a thousand dollars. Right. Right. Like, what are you gonna if do you with need that? some, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you look, this, don't be afraid to call me. Just right. call, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I did invite you to the public affairs, so as soon as you can find me a PlayStation 5, like, I would really I don't appreciate even got it. <laughs> okay. I don't even got Listen, it. you're I'll traveling still, the world. It's I'll around still, there somewhere. I'm still rocking my PS4. <laughs> right <laughs> but I, I know you have more access yeah. because you're all over the place. Yeah, my, nephew, my, nephew, my oldest nephew, he got one before. Did I he did. really? Yeah. Well, tell him, hey, if you want me to take care of him. Look, I've been trying. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just want to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like I feel, I feel like I got to, right. but it's like I got to because I want to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I don't want to be in a position where uh-huh. I'm, I got, you know what I'm saying, $10,000 worth of jewelry and stuff on. Right. Me, you know what I'm saying? They don't got no food. But the, oh, okay. Like, yeah. I, like, I, I, That's I, very I, humble of you, though, I have to sure. say. Yeah. I mean, because I'm not going to lie. I would love to take care of people, too, but I come yeah. first. But so, I, I yeah. had to learn that, though. I, yeah. I had to learn that, you know what I'm saying? At mm. first, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to take care of everybody. Right. But then it was like, I want to take care of everybody. Mm, okay. like, whole, like, I wanted to make sure the whole city was going to eat. <laughs> really? <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Because I just felt like, you know, they, yeah. they, they the ones who got me here. Okay, you know I got what you. I'm saying? But I had to. Now I, I really I gotta pick and choose. To, yeah, I was gonna say to an extent. Do you feel like that now that you're in this really incredible position of being an Olympian? Do you think that people are deriding you, so to speak? No, no. Cause okay. I, I honestly feel like it you was. You think everybody they, humbly? Is no, because they a... they seen it. They they mm-hmm. they watched me from 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 young on up. So right. it's like they they witnessed it. You know. What okay, I, mean? I got you. But it's just like I, I still watch my I still you know what I'm saying? I, I still cross my T's and dot my eyes. Yeah. To make sure with everything. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm so I know who and who not to. But yeah, well, that's what yeah, I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because because you know you start popping and things start happening for you, and oh, then all sure. people start coming out the woodworks, and yeah, you've been best friends. But, but the one and, thing about it though is uh-huh. it's like I, I since I signed and everything, I never changed like as far as how I, how I carried myself around right. around the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, people see me, I'm always rocking my... Like, you didn't see me walk in with three or four people. No, you didn't. I came in by myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I was like, I don't know. I don't we had that one time. The guy, uh, Splash yeah. brought his posse. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, him, but yeah. his posse. Yeah. Uh, I, I hang with myself. Right. I, I got my friends that I hang with. Right. You know You're saying? still regular. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't move like that. 
I got you now. Yeah, right. You know what? I, just, it's so funny that you say that because I met a woman the other day who acted like she saw me and like she saw Beyonce, yeah. which was really flattering. But I was like, you don't understand how regular I am. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I am so normal. Like, I just go home in my robe and drink coffee and play Nintendo. Like, well, I, got, I got some friends that, you know, that hey, they, they flex and shine more than me. Really? You know what I'm hey, yeah, what are you doing? No. No. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But I realize that's them, though. Like, yeah, that's, okay. that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's them. That's not for me. Right. I was gonna say it's a really nice chain around your neck too. Oh yeah. But, what what is know, that? So it was just like like that's my like my symbol. W3, right. So, so what like, what kind of what kind of um like jewelry is that? Like it's, it's, it's gold, it's gold and diamonds. Okay, yeah. got you. So it was just like you know I I don't even wear jewelry like that. Right. But it was like when I did like it was like that one thing. Yes. Well, listen. Okay. At the at the end of the day, you can be as humble as you are, which I yes. I completely feel you. <laughs> but you're making a lot of money, doing really good for yourself, and you worked hard for this. You go get you your little your gold chain with the diamonds and nah, shit. Okay. Only, yeah. I, but the thing is, I don't even wear it like that. Yeah. Like, the only time I wear it is like if I like go out to eat with some friends. Or coming to the public fair, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, like if I start making a lot of money, I'm going to be like one of those mobsters yeah. that has jewelry like all over their hands and stuff. You know what I mean? Because I like, I like flashy things, but I'm definitely going to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Sure. Okay, so I, I definitely want to talk more about track and field and joining, uh, your journey to the Olympics, yeah. okay? So uh, first of all, um, how do you train to be a fast runner? Do you just run every day or what, what, what goes on behind there? <sighs> <laughs> like uh, this, I've been running for like eight months, and I can't do it. Like you know, you gotta track, you know, what I'm saying you got different events, you okay, different running events. You got like 100, 100 we got the 100, 200, yeah. 400, 800 long distance. You know, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So it's like I train as a sprinter, right? Like a foreign runner. So it's just like you know, go to practice. Mm -hmm. you, know, you got different workouts for different days, two hundreds, maybe over distance, right? Sprinting, you know. Then you got weights, right? You know, and then you got this, like. But it's just like a lot of people think like I actually our workouts are very short. Okay. Our warm up is long. Oh really? Like I warm up and stretching probably take like forty five minutes. Really? Forty five minutes of stretching? Yeah, stretching and drills. But the actual <laughs> but the actual workout probably yeah. take ten to fifteen minutes. Really? Okay. <laughs> That's so, so weird. That's yeah, like yeah, it's like so sure, opposite. Sure. That's what we do. It's, it's okay. just like the, the amount of like the, the mm. workout is at very intense level. Yeah. So it's like you use all your muscles. Right, right. Like you can easily, you know what I'm saying, hurt someone. Okay. Like, like if you see a race, you know, you right. see somebody who'll pull a hamstring in two steps. Have you ever, have you ever been in a situation where maybe you were running too hard and it was affecting your health, or do you always like how do you stay healthy? I mean, I mean, it doesn't look like you're out here eating Wendy's every day. You know what I mean? It's just so, like getting a lot of rest. And stuff. Yeah. Because I was like, is it the same? Like, you know, I, I've had a lot of athletes, and like I've had boxers and the football yeah. players, and we talk about like being cock strong, like can't have sex. Like I don't know how. Is that does that pertain to um? Track and field as well. You know, it's the work for some people. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard anybody in track that talk about that. Okay. So, like, you know, I've heard it in boxing. So maybe that doesn't track. pertain to track. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard nobody talk about that. Track, you know? <laughs> hey, you lucked out then, right? <laughs> maybe I should join track and field, right? right? You know, as far as, like, the workouts and stuff, like, uh -huh. as far as, like, recovery, it's just, like, you know, getting treatment, like, massages, uh -huh. uh, uh, ice baths, and uh -huh. then, um, I'll say I sleep a lot. Like, do you? When I have free time, like I sleep. Like the really? entire flights, I sleep. Okay, I got you. I think the last flight that when I was coming back home from Stockholm, like a seven hour flight. Okay. And I slept the entire The whole time? Seven hours. I could never. Every time I'm on the plane, I feel like I'm shit. No, nah, like as soon as I get on the flight, that's yeah. the first thing I do. Are you I'm taking awesome. regular flights now or are they putting you in jets? Luxurious yeah, jets. I ain't got that luxury. I'm oh, still, come on. I'm still in main cabin. <laughs> <laughs> you still get the little sandwich yeah, yeah, with, yeah, the, with the one piece of ham? <laughs> yeah. As long as I get my window seat, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there you go. Seat. Listen, I, I want my private jet. I want yeah. the bed. I want the bed. Hey, hey, but if the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> right, why not? Yeah. Like, Maybe they'll have a PS5. But, but like, <laughs> if it was coming out my own money, then I'm main cabin. Okay. <laughs> now, I got you. You know, okay, so, so you get invited to the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah. What's going through your mind when that happens? Like, how do you even like audition for that? How does I mean, because you got like, as far as for track, you know, okay. it's just like any other sport, you got like the trials. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you go, and as far as for running, you got three rounds, you got a prelim, you mm -hmm. got a semi final and a final. So I bet that's nerve wracking in itself. Ah, uh, man. I because uh, <laughs> it was in Eugene, what, three three weeks ago? Okay. I was probably the worst week of my life. Really? Yeah, it was the worst week of my life. In regards life. to just personal things? or Like mentally and physically. Oh, wow. Like, okay. Like, like that's a life changing experience. Mm -hmm. and, you know, some people like, you know, that's how they feed their family. Right. Like, as far as me, that's how I pay my bills. Okay. So it's like, if I didn't make the team, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? It wasn't going to be the last opportunity I had. Right. But as far as opportunities that it brings, you know, with money and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? opportunities like that. Like, this is what you, you have to yeah, do. Yeah, this is right. what you got to do. So okay. it's like, 
I've seen people who didn't make it and just right cry, like you know. What I'm wow, like, they break think, down. Think about not doing the sport no more. Cause right. like, this opportunity comes every four years. Right. So it's like, damn, and, you know, some people that like twenty eight years old. Uh-huh. So it's like four years, like my body's not gonna be the same. Right. Yet. So it's like, oh wow! So, so you're, you're wearing the weight of the world on your shoulders. Yeah, that three that three days was like the worst three days. <laughs> wow! Like, how, how did we, you maintain? Like, how did you stay sane? I mean, sane? Like, it's just like I've been doing it for so long. Right. Like, it is just like you just have to be able to just hold yourself together. Okay. Like, like I say, you gotta be able to lock in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So lock it's in. it's more of a mental mind fuck. Yeah, then. yeah. It's just it's like, like yeah. track track is mainly like I say like eighty percent mental. Really. Twenty percent physical. Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like physical. So it's just like, man, it was just like that week when I got down there, you know, you get everything, warm up, you know what I'm saying? Right. You do your workouts and stuff. And then like the night before the first round, oh man, I was in shambles. <laughs> Did you really? I was, I was just trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Then once I ran the first round and uh-huh. I made it to the next day, I was like, it took some weight off my shoulder. Okay, I was going to say, did it, was, it just... Yeah, because okay. I was just like, all right, now, because it's just like, I, I didn't run in the meet for like two weeks before that. Right. So it was like, uh, how am I going to feel? Like, I've been doing this, you know, how am I, you know what I'm saying? So once I did it, I was oh, like, wow. okay, I'm good. We're I good. good, okay. So then the next day came, I think the, the, the second day in, in the track world mm-hmm. was the hardest day. Bro. Because it's like, the semifinal is basically the final. Because it's right. just like, if you make it to the final, then it's just like, you just let everything go. Okay. It's just like, fuck it. Just yeah, go yeah. out there run. But that second day, oh man, it's the hardest day. It's the <laughs> hardest day. Because everybody, because yeah. you don't know if everybody's going to go out all out, if everybody's going to relax. You yeah. Say if you're in the, you could be in the right heat and everybody runs slow and then you run fast. So everybody's just all blazing. Right. And it just so happened my heat was the fastest heat. Oh, wow. So it was like, I was in a, I was in the best situation. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like, they take the top three and the next two fastest to the final. Okay. So it was just like, if you look at it like this, if you run in the first heat and it's the slowest one, okay. and you don't make the top three to qualify, but you you ran in the slow heat, then that means your time can't even advance. Right, right. But if you're in the fast heat and you make the top three and then you're possibly the the, the, the next two that can advance, okay. it's probably fast enough to get It sounds it. like a whole situation. It, it is. Yeah, it, it sounds so it's yeah. like... That in itself is confusing. And yeah. it was like that mm-hmm. night before I was like, I had, you know what I'm saying, I had a little swagger on me. I was really good. I was chilling. <laughs> and when I made it to the final, I was like, all right, I'm good. Right. Because I already knew I had made it, made the team. Mm-hmm. They, they took everybody in the final. Right, right. But it was like, oh, man, I, I want to do, you know what I'm saying, I, I just don't want to make the team. Right. right. You know what I'm saying, I want to actually make the podium. Okay. But like that night before, my head was just, oh um, man, I was, I was everywhere. I think I slept for like three hours. Did you night. really? Were you just in your room, just like pacing around? Like, were you not? I was, just, I was just chilling in the bed, like just looking. Yeah. Like, I was just sitting in the dark, like I just couldn't, I couldn't go right. to sleep. I'm nervous, like, yeah. Yeah. And you really weren't even nervous. It was just thinking about all the opportunities, like, that. right. And it's hard not to, people say, oh man, you just got to calm down. Like, right, it's, right. It's harder than what you think. It's no, like, for sure. You know, it's it's the Olympics, you guys. Yeah, exactly. yeah you know, so. It's just like, yeah. yeah. That final day, man, and it's crazy because the day of the finals, I don't really know this. I think a lot of people that know my coach, uh-huh. I'm gonna say it. So yeah, say it. I was going, <laughs> I was going to need to go check in. Uh huh. I was going to the bathroom first. I was gonna put my uniform on. Yeah. My bag, it's not there. <laughs> my uniform, oh, I ain't have it. My God. So it was just like, damn, where's my uniform? Right. And I think what happened, I know that's what happened. Yes. Yeah. Uh. I was uh, I was warming up and I was getting my jacket to put it on to mm-hmm. warm up in it because I like warming up in my jacket with okay. my hood and the jacket and the in the um, uniform is made from the same material right so I think when I took my jacket out I took my uniform out too. yeah so when I went to and I was walking to put it on I think I dropped it oh shit so it's just somewhere over there yeah that was gone now somebody took it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, did you need your uniform to like? Yeah, like do that? that's the only way I could I could run it. Oh wow! My so, uniform. So, so I was what just happened? Like, Damn. Yeah. And it was like right before they was from the take us underneath. I had like 20, 20 minutes, twenty five minutes. Right. So, but and you sit underneath to wait to go out for, for like twenty minutes. So okay. I had time. So I just I stayed calm though. I was just like, Damn, yeah. I'm gonna freak out until my coach. Right. Cause he gonna freak out too. Right. So I just took my phone. I called my called my agent. I was like, bad. He was like, what's up? You, you good? Like, you yeah. sure he was sitting in the stands. I was like, yo, I don't go in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, man, what you mean? You don't got your uniform? Yeah. I, said, I said, I think it fell out of my bag. But hey, uh-huh. stay calm. He said, all right, I, I'm going to go get you one. <gasps> and uh, he ran. He went to go uh, find the guys from Nike. Yeah. He ran to like the little Nike place. 
it was like I think like five minutes down the road. Oh wow! Into it. Yeah, and they got me uniform, and uh, he came back, and I told him I said I need the one piece. Yes, the the full thing because <laughs> I got my because I didn't I got the one I just had the one piece. Right, right. And uh, and he said if they don't got a one piece, I need a uh, I need a just the top, and then I need the tights for the bottom. Right. Well. He said, all right, cool. He was like a large. I said. You know how to work. Right? <laughs> I said, no, I'm small. I need yes. small. I, 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 I don't like it like stretchy. Like, yeah. Like okay. Like a fit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he uh, he came back and uh, I'm waiting and it's like, y'all got five minutes for y'all go out. I'm like, damn. Oh back. my goodness. But I was chilling though. Was it's like the calm. race against time. Yeah. 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 So I'm just chilling. And, and don't nobody knew. You know, I didn't want to tell the runners be like, damn, I'm gonna get them. Okay, yeah. So they would be like, oh, yeah, you know, you don't got your uniform. Yeah, I'll be a big tricking, spectacle. Bro. Yeah. yeah okay. and, and then for them to tell me that, like, it'll hype me up and get me nervous. Right, right. So it'll play right into their field. So I'm just sitting back there. I'm just doing my runners. Right, yeah. I'm chilling. Like, like, I'm ready, you know. And then um, I'm waiting and I walk out and I ask the security guard, I'm like, yo, did somebody come with a uniform? Right. He's like, you, you're the one looking for the uniform? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, come this way, come this way. Oh. <laughs> and they ran, uh, uh-huh. went, and uh, they was like, wait right here, because I couldn't get by, because mm-hmm. they had the cameras, because they was uh, filming another race. Oh, yeah. So then they came, do red, and threw the uniform at me. <gasps> And, and it was the uh, was it the uniform that you lost or was it the new uniform? No, it was a new one. So oh, it was just the okay. top. Yeah. And it didn't come with the bottom. Oh my god. I had, I had tights on already. Yeah. So I, was, I was like, man, I don't care. Right. Like, you know, they was just a different color. It okay. was just all black. It was supposed to be navy blue. Right. And I was just like, I don't care. So I got the uniform, I put it on. And I was uh I couldn't really lock in like I wanted to, but I still <laughs> had that in the back of my mind. Yeah. And I was already kind of psyched out. Right. Like, it got done. So okay. I ain't tripping. So, you, so you, you all go through all that mess, and I'm sure it was a hot mess yeah. express, and then you find they say you're going to advance to the Olympics. Yeah. You know, so what goes through your mind after that? Are you just like, is, uh, it, is it over now? Or, I mean, is it enough for you to compete in the Olympics, or are you, like, you have to win? Do you see what I'm saying? No, I mean, every time I'm on the track, like, you know, uh-huh. I'm, I'm not going out there to lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, yeah. So I, was, I would just be happy that I'm in the Olympics. I'd be going to the field I mean, drunk sure. as well. Like, yeah, really, what's like, up? I was, I was happy, but I still yeah. had that. that I could have did better. Okay. You know so, Are you your own worst critic? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. For sure. Like, yeah. Everybody was happy. Coach was yeah. happy. Agent was happy. Mm. Uh, parents was, but I was still like, eh. Like, right, you know, I, I wasn't. So every time before, I guess in me or a competition, do you get nervous? Because I'll tell you what, like I've been on Power One Eight for the last six years, yeah. and then I've had this podcast for over a year now. And so even before I go on air, before I start this show, I still get very jittery, like it's my first time. Yeah. Like I still get very nervous. You know? Do you feel the same thing, same way going to like a meet or a competition or something? Uh, some of them. Like, yeah. I, I'll say I don't say I don't I don't get jittery. Right. It's like you know, I just want to do. Do my best. Right. I feel like when you want to do your best, like you always got them back in your head. That's like, damn, I don't want to mess up. Right. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> that, like I've been doing it for so like I said, I've been doing it for so long. Yeah. Like, and I've been pretty much like put on like the highest scale right. of running. Okay. And so it's like I've ran in front of some huge crowds. So right. I feel like once I've once I've ran on this level, uh-huh. like running on the level right here, it don't really you know what I'm saying get to. Me. Okay, I got you. All right. So so you're headed to the Olympics. When do you leave for that? Uh, July 24th. Oh, so we caught you just in time. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> so how, how are you feeling now? I mean, are you nervous? Are you excited you're going to Japan uh, or, I mean, or Tokyo? I kind of want to be excited. But right. then again, it's like, it kind of sucks that there's no fans mm-hmm. and like the circumstance of what it is. But it's still the Olympics, so. You know okay. What I'm so it's when you say like, the circumstances, what are we talking about? Like about how you, it's no fans, so okay. it's like an empty stadium. Oh, is that right? Is it because of COVID still? Yeah. That's still yeah. a thing? No, they, they yeah. there it is shut down. Oh, wow. Really? Like, we can't really, like, I don't even think we can go to, like, other uh, sporting events. Oh, so okay. So, it's like, we're basically going from, like, the track yeah. to back to the room. Oh, really? So you can't even like, go to the Pokemon Center? Like, come on. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I would sneak sh- out. <laughs> they still shut down in Japan. Oh, wow. Okay. So, it's still... Like, so, it's an exciting, but you know what? Nonetheless, it's an exciting experience. Yeah, actually, for because sure. Because you went to the other... Not everybody yeah. just goes to the other. But it's just like, yeah. you don't get to experience the full... The full... Okay. okay. So, but it's you, just like... I have no doubt that you're going to experience more Olympics to come. Yeah, for and, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you'll get that full Olympic yeah, experience yeah. that you want. Uh, so, the goal is to win. Okay. Um, how, you know, I was going to ask, how do you handle, have you lost before? Yeah. Okay. How do you I, I, handle I've lost, losses? I've lost way more than I've won. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You know, I feel like any anybody, like there's nobody that's out here that's went undefeated. Right. Like, oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it's just like, I feel like you, you, 
uh, the way I deal with it is just like, eh, get better. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not trying to beat myself. Okay, up, I got like, you. But it's been some where I've just like been down. Like, right. Man, like, like really been, beat yourself up. Yeah, huh? I've been mm-hmm. hurt. I've been down bad behind it. But I think yeah. one thing that I've always had to tell myself is that, you know, hey, get it together. You yeah. Know what Don't do it again and line it up. And you're good. Yeah, All sure. right. Well, look, I, I, I have like, such high hopes here. I can't wait to watch you sure. on the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. I'm so honored that you're here on this show. Uh, you know, as far as, um, you know, we talked a little bit about reception from the city and stuff. Do you feel like that the city's giving you your flowers? You know, you mentioned no. the other day. Okay. No. <laughs> you know, I, I, I yeah. The, the city that, the city that I know, like okay. the, the, the actual people mm. like of Waco. Okay. Yeah. But the city itself, like the head, like Waco, like yeah, okay. like like the Waco that we know. Like if you yeah. go out to a bar, you know what I'm saying, okay. eat, and you like you said, the lady, oh, they, like you know what I'm saying, yeah, they, yeah. they show love, like, right, right, they're the ones. But as far as like the city, like okay. the board and stuff like that, mm. no. So you yeah. feel like you're being overshadowed in a sense. Uh, I mean, listen, yeah. everybody from Waco just doesn't. Go, this is a small town, okay? No, I um, mean like yeah. everybody that I, that I that I'm around. Like if I go they somewhere, do. hey man, appreciate it, man. Mm-hmm. Like even people I don't know. Let mm-hmm. me see what you're doing. But as far as, like, I've seen what, like, for other people, I don't like the, you know what I'm saying? No, but let's just be honest. Yeah, like, no, they are not. Like, if we see, like, what they do for other athletes in other cities, yeah. like, they, you know what I'm saying? I've seen they city go to parades, put them on right. and you know what I'm saying? So I'm why, are we, saying, but why yeah. are we not doing that for you, though? Hey. You're going to the Olympics. Hey. Can I throw you a personal parade? How about that? Well, instead of this event that we're doing, Mike, we're going to throw him a... a, a, a <laughs> he's going to the Olympics. We have to make this a whole production, okay? I mean, yeah. one thing I learned is just like, hey, if it come, it come. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you, at the end of the day, you're winning, yeah, for regardless. Sure. Like, yeah, you know, so. I feel like they mm. should, and everybody else <laughs> feel like they should. Yeah. Like, I'm not feeling like, bid for something you know what I'm saying? i feel like it should just be in like i wish a given yes and i and like i said i've only heard about you from other people around yeah, your age sure. and um you know they've told me that they watch the show and i'm friends with some of them and they say yeah we're london we're london but I, it's such a shame that i don't see you everywhere else you know i i feel like you do deserve that like and it's I'm, the fucking somebody, olympics somebody who never i one thing about it i never left the city to do it like, okay. I, I accomplished this all from living in the city right for sure from Tennyson, uh-huh. Waco High, Baylor, yes. all the way to this. Like, I never left the city. Okay. And it's like, you, they can't say I ain't been watching. Uh, right. Because it's been right in their face. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So it doesn't phase you. No, nah, like, I mean, I just learned, you know what I'm saying, just stay above the take my cookies and go. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's just like, yeah. man, I'm going to make my money. I'm there you go. I got to do uh-huh. because they show love and show love. And you're doing what you love. Yeah, which is the sure. most important. Yeah. They need to give me a key to the city. I mean, <laughs> I listen, what, whatever they do as far as events yeah. go, I want to make sure I get the first invite, okay? <laughs> well, well, you know, I kind of want to ask you this. Um, You know, I know that there's a lot of spectacle going on in the Olympics right now with Miss Shikari Richardson, from what I understand. Well, I guess I guess she smoked weed and now she can't yeah. be in the Olympics. Yeah. How do you feel about that? What are your thoughts? I mean, I ain't really, like, get into it. You know, okay. I, I really hate it for her. Yeah. Like, I, I know her personally. Oh, do you? So it's like... Is she uh, sweet? Yeah, she's yeah. a very cool person. Like, uh-huh. Right there. Like, shout out she, to Shikari. Yeah, shout out to her. Man. Yeah. She's she a dog on the track. Is she? Like, okay. I, I think she's very misunderstood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's like, a lot of people take her as a very arrogant, you know what I'm saying, cocky mm. person. Okay. But like, outside of the cameras, like, if you see her in the, like, when she's in the back with the other females, yeah. the other runners, She's always, hey, congratulations. Oh, okay. Ladies, you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's just like her poker face, like her game yeah, face. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sense. Yeah. So whatever happened with that, you know what I'm saying? That's, mm-hmm. that's it's, it's always the people who, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody don't understand how the track and field. Right? right. Just like everybody don't understand how the NBA works and being a professional uh-huh. athlete. So if that's the decision she made, up, she she decided to make. And yeah. She went on camera. She uh she 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 owned up to it. Yeah. She took her her thirty days, the month suspension. Yeah. So I don't even know why people. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, like, so I guess it's just kind of like a like you know when at work like so personally I don't smoke weed. You know what I mean? But like. Um, I know at work, like most places don't let you do that. And so I guess maybe in this sense, it's like, well, if you're going to be competing, you can't compete in our team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you know, but then I also think, well, it's just weed. Like if she was getting strung out on like heroin and shit, then, you know, we should send her to rehab, no, not the Olympics. But, like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's saying, like, like yeah. I said, like, you know what I'm saying? When people like the rules are rules. Like, yeah. I understand how it goes. Okay. Like, I understand. And she even said, I understand. Right. I understand that's the rule. So when she said it, it should have been. Oh, it like, should have been done. It should have been done. Okay, but, I feel you. Know you. What I'm saying? I knew it was gonna get dragged. Yeah. Because she's a very highlighted profile mm-hmm. athlete, so it's like that's right. just how that's just how it goes. 
Yeah. No, well, you know what? I, and, and you're right. That we yeah. should have just left it alone at that point. Well, you know, and you know how the media works. Right? Yeah, for like sure. That. But, you know, uh, big shout out to her. And I hope that, you know, I hope that she doesn't let it get her down. And I hope that she'll continue no, to she, prosper. She's and, dog. Yeah, she, she, I would love to meet her. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure she got a lot of track left. You know, so yeah, she's okay. She's not over for her. So yeah, that's like, good. She's going to continue. She's going to continue to rock. For sure. You know what? And speaking on, on which, again, shout out to her. And I hope that big things come for her as well. And I'm sorry that she's going through that. Um, how do you guys find the balance then between, like, I mean, listen, y'all are young. Yeah. Everybody likes to experiment. <laughs> you know, we've been there. And, you know, like, how do you maintain the balance of, I guess, the party lifestyle, going out? I mean, what do you, you said you're, what, 25? I'm 23. 23? You're younger. You're young. You still want to go out and party. When I was 23, I was a big old whore. So it's like, <laughs> how do you maintain being, like, you know, Olympian and partying, but you can't do that. Do you see what I I'm mean, saying? I don't, I personally, I don't smoke. Okay. I did, so it's yeah, just I mean, like, for me, mm -hmm. I just, whenever I go out, if I have to, go out with friends, you know what I'm saying? They always know if I'm in season, I'm not touching a drink. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not. I'm and they respect that. Yeah. yeah. Can't, don't you hate it when people like try to fucking shove yeah, it down? Yeah, you know, get out of my so face. They, yeah. So they, they respect it. So <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Even if a drink come away, nah, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you gotta get ready. Okay. So oh, that's good. Like, you so, so you're surrounded by the right people. Yeah, yeah. So for sure. it's like, as far as that goes, um, when you out of season or whatever, I'm gonna mm. have a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm a grown man. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it's like everybody, everybody different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's just like, but like, just like why is she different? Mm -hmm. Is she different from everybody else? This person probably doing this. This person probably right. doing that. Let them, let them live life. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we don't know what y'all are doing back at the crib. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just. What like, about the people that run the Olympics? <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Hey, I'm, 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 okay, yeah. listen, we've been in showbiz long enough, right? Yeah, we know what's going on. Okay. Everybody, everybody got, yeah. listen, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody do something, but right. I can't say she owned up to it. Good for her. And she, she, yeah. what she got to do. Took accountability. It's yeah, one of the most sure. important things right. that you have to do. And right. I, I don't, again, I don't know her from a can of paint. I only read up on the story and stuff. And I, I feel bad because, you know, it's so it's so sad to see that something like that took such a really great opportunity from it. I'm sure she worked just as hard for it as anybody else. But, you know, again, I, I hope that she'll prosper from it. And, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, stay yeah. up the fray, darling, Mishikari. Yes. Um, okay, so, you know what? Um, I, I'm Again, I'm really excited to see you do your thing in the Olympics again. Thank you so much for coming on to the Public Affair. No what, what are you doing, I guess, off-season? Like, what what does Will like to do when he's not running and, and kicking ass on the track field? Oh, nothing. You just like to be I at the house. It. You know, I'm, I'm really excited and, and grateful for you, uh, you know, for coming on to the Public Affair. I know you've got a really long journey ahead to the Olympics, and I can't wait to see you do your thing. You, Definitely sounds like you worked really hard for it. But what does Will like to do, I guess, when you're not, when you're off season, like when you're not running the track and kicking ass on the field? Like, what, what do you do, I guess, just as far as interests and hobbies? I stay out the way. <laughs> I, I, I sleep a lot. Right, yeah. Off season, like, that's all I do. Like, so you just want to chill? I just want to chill. Yeah. Because it's just like, I want to go on vacations and travel. Right. But it's hard to, because that's literally traveling okay like, you know i do it all year right so it's like i'm always going overseas this and that right so when i finally do one this one's like dang i don't want to get on the plane yeah uh, <laughs> just... but this year i am i'm gonna take a vacation oh good okay like, like even though we didn't run this year uh -huh. you know, last year i couldn't go nowhere because of covid, Cause of COVID right. so it was just like it really wasn't a vacation you yeah. know what i'm saying i was just at the crib but i told myself when the season over this year i'm gonna take myself you take, yeah and i'm pretty sure it's well deserved especially after yeah for sure like, I'm, I'm gonna relax yeah you know, so. have you been somewhere have you not been anywhere yet that you want to go see uh oof. I don't know. <laughs> I've been to a lot of places. Yeah. But I'll say this, all places I've been to have been for tracks. So I never really right. got this. So you never really got to experience. Experience. Okay, like, got you. People, I think London was one place I really got the experience. Oh, really? I, I was there for so long. So uh -huh. I was there for like, I think a week or two before right. I actually competed. So I was able to like, see the, see the I got you. stuff. But other than that, um, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you'll cross that bridge when you yeah, get on your vacation. Okay. I don't even know where I'm going to go yet. Yeah, yeah. They, just listen, you've got the whole world at your disposal. Right. So I'm, I'm, I've got such high hopes for you. What's next for you? Well, we're going to the Olympics. Yeah. We want to see you do your thing. I can't wait. Uh, by the time this episode comes out, ooh, what did you say it was? What day was it? The 24th? Uh, it's not going to be out just yet. Yes, it will. You're, you're, the Olympics would have happened. Yeah, but, okay. So anyway, yeah, yeah, anyway, we want to see you do your thing. Um, you know, what's next for you, Will, after the Olympics? I mean, is it to be in the Olympics again? Or? Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, like, is this your career, basically? Yeah, yeah, this is what right. I do. This is what I do. Yeah. This is what I love to do. Yeah. I feel like I'll be done when I stop loving it. 
Uh, <laughs> and you see the dad on my body break. Right. Everyone comes first. And I, I have to say, for a 23-year-old young man, yeah. you really do seem like you have a really good head on your shoulders oh, again. Sure. And there's so... I witnessed it. <laughs> People your age can get so much money, oh, and it goes right to their head, and they're just blowing it. You just seem like, I'm just doing what I love. Man, you know, that's it. You know, yeah. Track is what I love to do. So that's I good. Feel like, that's why I, I really don't get too caught up in the money. Right. It's like, I wake up, and I feel like I'm just, like, living my, like, doing what I love to that's do. That's so day. great. And yes. I feel like, the money gonna come. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the money gonna come. Yeah. Well, well um, congratulations to you and all your successes. It was such a nice warm feeling meeting you. I'm so happy that you came out to the public for even though you did not know who I was. So thank you for coming <laughs> on to this show. You seemed like you were very excited. I don't know if you were just as excited um, as coming out to the public fair as going to the Olympics, but we're going to act like you were. <laughs> you know what? One more thing before we leave. I, I saw that, um, I think you posted your invitation on social media. Yeah, yeah. This says you guys to bring a guest. Well, who are you bringing? Me. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, it was one yeah. of my coach, but uh-huh. I don't think I'm going no more. I mean, but it's a lot of stuff you got. It okay. gotta be like a. It can't just be a guest. guest. What, well, I'm not just a guest. Guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm it's your like, PR. Uh, okay, it's so it can't like, just be like your side piece. Yeah, so, yeah. Cause, you know, because it would either be somebody who's gonna like put me on camera or my side piece. Like, you're not bored in Tokyo unless you get a Tokyo side piece. You know what uh, I mean? I yeah. Going there. I'm going down and make more money and come back to Korea. <laughs> That's so great, Will. <laughs> well, if your coach can't make it, I mean. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, just hit me up, okay? Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the public affair, and again, um, best of luck to you and all your endeavors. I can't I wait to see you on the Olympics. Congratulations to you. Um, if you feel like the city is not giving you flowers, if I had a bouquet of flowers here, I would give it to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess the big goal, we're gonna have a whole party. Yeah. Great. Okay. Stop. You know, yeah. God, I feel like they need to stop, and it's like I feel like once you. Once you give one person mm-hmm. big flowers, it's gonna it's gonna add an intensity for everybody else that wanna do great things. Yeah, for sure. So if you show if you show one person, everybody's gonna follow on. I got you. you know how I go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, for sure. Well, again, best of luck to you. Again, I've said it a hundred times. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. It was such an honor to meet you. I really, really mean it. Um, of course, to everybody who watched episode 56 of The Public Affair, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this episode, okay? Because Will London is going places, and we love Will London on The Public Affair. So, again, thank you. Yes, of course. Um, of course, before we go, I definitely want to give a shout-out to a couple more of our sponsors of The Public Affair. Of course, to that one, Michelada and Botana. With Junior Banda, he provides the best Michelada and Botana plates for yourself or for a party. He also has these really scrumptious Paleta drinks, so if you need nice, stiff, alcoholic beverage, Hit him up for the paleta and give me the paleta mango one. It was so good. I love it. He's locally operated. Make sure you get the best. And now there is that. I'm also wearing his t shirt right now, so you've got to try this. Ryan, you get your Botana shirt, okay? Yeah, after season. I brought it after season, okay? Yeah, because you don't want to before season. But it's delicious. And of course, to Soko, Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez. They're located on Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training. They also offer open play on Friday nights, and they specialize in soccer training. And of course, Fitness training at Soko Fit with Dominic Gutierrez, Isaac, and Lyndon Carrillo. That's why, if you notice, in the past 56 episodes, I get thinner and thinner and thinner. That's because of Soko Soccer Academy down 50 pounds since I started in October. And I'm so grateful, Soko. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. Of course, to everybody who watched this episode, thank you so much for all your love and support. You guys, for taking the public affair towards after today, it means the world to me. And I'm so happy that you guys love it. Of course, thank you again to Mr. Will London III, uh, Mr. Going to the Olympics, Tokyo Olympics 2021. Make sure you guys tune in and check him out. And don't forget, darling, to always keep it between us. That's it. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.